Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 5, Homework. Number 1. Use the coordinate plane to answer the questions. A. Use a straight edge to construct a line that goes through points A and B. Label the line G. So I'm going to use my ruler here. Draw a line through A and B. Label the line G. So there's line G. Line G is parallel to the, so parallel, it is parallel to this axis right here, which is the x-axis. And it is perpendicular, meaning that it creates a 90 degree angle where they intersect at the y-axis. Draw two more points on line G. Name them C and D. So I'll draw C right there and put D right there. Give the coordinates of each point below. So it looks like each of the intervals are increasing by one, which is nice, it's whole numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and label them. Okay, so point A is at 4, 8. So remember we do parentheses, comma, 8, and it's always X and then Y. B is at 9, 8. So all of those answers will be the same. Now C and D are going to be different depending on where you're plotting them. So if you plotted them on the same places that I did, our C is at 6, 8, and D is at 11, 8. But anything would work as long as your Y coordinate is 8. So if you put 5, 8, 9, 8, well, 9, 8 was already used, but anything, 1, 8, 2, 8, as long as your Y point, or Y coordinate is 8, you'll have uh, the correct answer. And working off of that, E says, what do all the points on line G have in common? Well, they all have a Y coordinate is eight. F, give the coordinates of another point that falls on line G with an X coordinate greater than 25. So if we know that the Y coordinate is always going to be eight, and we just want an x coordinate greater than 25, we could do 26, 8. You could do 101, 8. You could do 2004, 8. Anything as long as your y coordinate is 8 and your x is greater than 25. Number two, plot the following points on the coordinate plane to the right. So we have h, which is at 3 fourths, 3. It looks like they're going up by fourths here. So that's one fourth, one half, three fourths, one and one fourth, one and three fourths, two and one fourth, two and three fourths. So we have one fourth, three fourths, one and one fourth, one and three fourths, two and one fourth, and two and three fourths. So that should make it easier for us to plot them. So H is at 3 fourths, 3. So here's 3 fourths, and then up, all the way up to 3. Be right there. So that's H. I is at 3 fourths, 2 and 1 fourth. So 3 fourths, 2 and 1 fourth, there's I. J is 3 fourths, 1 half. And K is 3 fourths, 1 and 3 fourths. It says, use a straight edge to draw a line to connect these points. Label the line F. So use your straight edge. Draw a line. Let's label that F. If line F, X equals what for all values of Y? So here, all the Y values, or X is equal to 
what f in all of them? X is equal to 3 fourths for all values of Y. Circle the correct word if F is parallel or perpendicular to the X axis. So this line F, is it parallel or perpendicular to the X axis? Remember, this is the X axis. This is the Y axis. So line F is going, we're talking about the X axis. So it is going through and crossing through the X axis, meaning that it is perpendicular to the Y axis. And it is parallel to the Y axis because these two lines will never intersect. What pattern occurs in coordinate pairs that make line F vertical? So what pattern occurs in the coordinate pairs that's making it vertical? So we would say the pattern is that all, again, all of the X coordinates are the same. For each pair of points below, think about the line that joins them. For which pairs is the line parallel to the x-axis? Circle your answers without plotting them. So what we've noticed above is that if all of the x-coordinates are the same, then they will be perpendicular to the x-axis. If all of the y-coordinates are the same, then they'll be perpendicular to the y-axis. So if we're looking for something that's parallel to the x-axis, that's saying that all the y-coordinates are the same. So we're looking for something where the y-coordinates are the same. y is always second. So this one, the y-coordinates are both 7, so they are the same. Here the y-coordinates are 8 and 4 tenths, 8 and 8 tenths. So that will not, those will not be parallel. And 12 and 11 are not the same, so that's not going to be parallel to the x-axis. So without plotting them, explain how we know the y coordinates are equal. So the line will be parallel to the x axis. For each pair of points below, think about the line that joins them. For what pairs of is the line parallel to the y-axis? So here, we're looking for the y-axis, so that the so that means that the x-coordinates would be equal. So this time we're looking at the x-coordinates. So three and two tenths and three and twenty-two hundredths. Those are not equal. Thirteen and a third. Thirteen and a third. So B will work. And then 2 and 9 tenths, 7 and 2 tenths, that will not work because they are not, they are not the same. Circle your answers. So we need to give two other coordinate pairs that would also fall on this line. So we're just looking for anything that has 13 and a third as the x-axis and your, as your x, y, x coordinate, your y coordinate can be anything. So I'm just going to say 1. And then 13 and a third, 2. You could say 13 and a third, 8, 9, 10, whatever. Number five, write the coordinate pairs of three points that can be connected to construct a line that's five and a half units to the right of and parallel to the y-axis. So if it's parallel to the y-axis that and you want it to be five and a half units to the right of it, all of the x-coordinates need to be five and a half. So something like five and a half, one, five and a half, two, five and a half, three. As long as your x coordinate is five and a half, it's going to be parallel to the y axis. Write the coordinate pairs of three points that lie on the y axis. So, three points that lie on the y axis. If you're not visualizing this as well, so we want three points that actually lie on this y-axis, meaning that our x-coordinate right here is going to be zero. So as long as your x-coordinate is zero, so we could say zero, two, that would be, maybe we could say zero, two is right there. 
Uh, let me start this over. So we want it to be on the y-axis. If we say 0, 2, that would be right there. 0, 4 would be right there. 0, 6 would be right there. So they're lying on the y-axis. Leslie and Peggy are playing Battleship on axes labeled in halves. Presented in the table is a record of Peggy's guesses so far. What should she guess next? How do you know? Explain using words and pictures. So there's no real right answer to this, but I'm going to draw a picture of the x-axis and I'll label them Okay, so we have 5, 5. That was a miss. Then we have 4, 5. That was a hit. Then there was 3 and a half, 5. So th 1, 2, 3 and a half is right there, all the way up to 5. That was a miss. So, and then 4 and a half, 5, which would be right there. That was a miss. So if I were um, Peggy, I wouldn't be guessing anything else on this same Y coordinate because we've already crossed off two on either side. I would probably start guessing something along the same um, X coordinate. So I would say she should guess what was that? Four or five? Maybe, maybe guess, let's see, f four, four. So maybe, I'll say maybe Peggy should guess. Because the ones with, see how all of these have the same Y coordinate and it was miss, 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 and this was the only hit. That's telling me that the ones on either side have already been taken. So I probably shouldn't continue to guess over here because I'm just gonna keep missing because the coordinates with a five as the y coordinate have all been misses except for five four or four five. You can have a totally different explanation. Maybe you saw something I didn't, but that's what I'm seeing.